In this video, I want to show you how you can download a text editor or a code editor to write your code in. And I strongly suggest that you use Visual Studio Code since I'm going to be using that throughout this course. A Visual Studio Code is from Microsoft. And as you can see here, it's free, built on open source, runs everywhere. So it's going to run cross-platform, whether on Windows, Mac, or Linux. I've already downloaded it to my machine. However, if you're on Mac, if you haven't installed this before, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You can download from Mac here. If you're on another platform, like Windows, for example, you'll see the various installers here. You can download the stable version. And downloading those will guide you through the various installation steps. Now, as we've seen, we can write code in the Developer Tools console of whatever browser we're using. However, the console is really more of a place to experiment, more of a place to view errors and things like that. Even though we can write our code there, it's not going to persist. Like, for example, if we refresh our browser or we quit our browser, well, that code's going to be gone. However, if we write our code in a code editor, like VS Code or Visual Studio Code, our code will be saved on files on our computer that we can access at any time. So before the next video, if you don't have a code editor installed, go ahead and install a code editor. Like I said, Visual Studio Code is going to be the code editor that you're going to see me use throughout this course. So for the sake of following along, I would strongly advise you to download this one and use this one. 